Hello, hello, and welcome back. Um, today I am doing a speed build in The Sims. Um, as you can see, um, it is in Sammo Shuno, and it is called, I don't know what exactly is called anymore, um, but you can see it up in the corner anyway. Um, it is uploaded in my gallery as well, if you wanted to, um, it, basically put it in your game you can uh, you can uh, just search for it under the name uh, or just under my um, gallery name which is Vanik which is a uh, V number four N N I K yeah so if you just wanted to check that out you can it's all uploaded already um, so first of all I'm obviously bulldozing the entire apartment I um, have done this apartment before the new update came out so if you do not see any um, platforms that is basically why so first I just tried to kind of lay out the entire um, layout of this entire uh, flat, I wasn't entirely sure what I, I wanted to go for, is uh, you can see that I am um, just done a, a little bathroom and bedroom over there and it will be an open um, space living concept for the dining room, kitchen and living room. So I'll start with the kitchen. Um, I wanted to go for that kind of industrial look, which I am absolutely in love with. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I just absolutely love it. Um, I, I th I got, I've gone for a bit of uh, wood and these metallic and black, dark grey um, kind of cabinets because I did really, really like them. Um, yeah it's it's not too too much to say about the kitchen really it's just an ordinary kitchen but it was a bit hard to figure out what kind of um cabinets to use um like the ones that hang because i don't really think that we have proper matching ones for those which i thought was really shame uh, re like a real big shame actually you will see me struggling here and there um in this build like it takes me a long time to find things now and then because usually I don't proper build in The Sims. I'm more or less just game, like I'm all about the gameplay in that. Uh, now and then I do create my own houses and all of it, but yeah, it's not actually that often. As you can see, I just put the fire alarm up and I wasn't even up to the state aware of that we had that thermostat. Um, I was always wondering when I was playing in winter why my... Um, windows were all kind of just all over the place and all frozen and everything so now i finally know why um yeah like i said you can see um i kind of wanted to put some decorative objects down but i just have no idea where the stuff is most of the time um so yeah it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve for me definitely i'm trying to do a bit more speed builds here and there because i just realized as well they are easier to edit and to record in general so um yeah if you have any suggestions or if you want me to build anything in particular obviously just leave a, a comment down below and i will obviously get around to that at some point uh, until then um if no suggestions come in i'll just keep on building <laughs> um yeah put some knives up which i always really really like i had a bit of struggle as well um with the camera angles I never done like an apartment build before but I always really like to have the walls up because you just get the better experience of how everything's going to really look like. You see I put put some um, red brick down there now on the wall. That won't stay. I will change it later on. I think I end up going for some lighter brick. Um, but yeah, like that brownish colour on the uh, on that one side of the wall, I think that's roundish the colour that I'm going for. So I'm, I'm done for now with the kitchen. I'm moving on to the bedroom. And uh, oh yeah, something that I really need to say is um, in the gallery, if you guys want to download that apartment, um, it will come up with custom content because I actually didn't realise I put up two decorative objects i think one like proper picture and something like a pin board or something kind of like that uh, above the bed and i did not realize that it was actually custom content so i do apologize about that but you could easily obviously put any other picture um or over that bed 
and it will still look absolutely adorable. Um, I went for a bit more modern but also old kind of chic uh, in the bedroom, which I, in my opinion I thought it was a bit like really cute but more of the neutral colour. So that, there you go, that's one of the um, pictures I was talking about and there you go, the second one as well. So it's only these two that, that are custom content. I don't actually know how many packs I was using in this um, build, uh, probably quite a lot. Uh, I you, I've honestly, I really don't know. I didn't um, keep track of that because I was like, oh yeah, that's cute and I like that and I would like to have that one. Um, I could obviously try and also do like one of the next ones, just like a base game only. Um, and also just then a bit more pack restricted ones. Uh, yeah, just try to find some curtains. I think these are actually the ones I'm going for as well. Um, I actually, as of yet, haven't t uh, play tested any of this. The only struggle I can see uh, in regards to a sim not able to reach anything would probably be in the bathroom, as you will see in a little bit. Um, I think your sim might not be able to reach a shower. I will definitely still have to play test that, and I do apologize if you might have come across this already and downloaded it and come uh, came across that problem. Uh, I will definitely do that today still. Um, and we'll then obviously figure it out and upload it and again in the um, updated version onto the gallery. Uh, yeah, um, just the final touches to the bedroom. I wanted to uh, do something like, you know, a bit old. I wanted to look, make it look a little bit old on one side of like one corner of the wall somewhere. But I didn't end up doing it because I, I felt like mm, maybe maybe not the right place for that one today. Uh, I don't really know. It was a bit hard to figure out um, what to put there. But yeah, I think it ends up looking quite okay. I did really, really adore those um, carpets that I, uh, that I put on the floor. Uh, I think they're from Laundry Day, but really, really cute. So now we're moving on to the bathroom. Um, I am going for this little cute bathtub. I absolutely adore it. And I do like, I'm not going to lie, you're probably going to see that in a lot of my bills. I don't know why, but I really, really do like um, beige or brownish coloured bathrooms. I don't like when they're white for some reason. Maybe it's just because you can just see the, like in real life, obviously in The Sims doesn't matter, but <laughs> maybe that's where I just get my inspiration from. But it's just like in real life, I feel like white bathrooms, they always look dirty, even though they're clean like or they always tend to look um dirty like sooner rather than like when you have a darker or like not so wide bathroom oh i don't know who am i to judge eh? um but yeah that's why i just wanted to go for those i put i end up putting some washing machines uh, a washing machine and the dryer set on in the bathroom as well and that's why i put the laundry basket in there i haven't actually put the laundry basket into the bedroom which obviously could be added um i might do that as well um if not obviously you can just add that onto whatever in the house you want it to be um and yeah i'm just gonna add a a, a, a shelf next to like a a little cabinet next to the um bathtub because as it is at the moment i think your sims should be able to find or not find but get into the bath and also get into the shower it shouldn't block it but now that's where it comes into because i really wanted to have a shelf like right there and um, because otherwise it looked a bit empty in my opinion so yeah um, or even that towel rack there that might be blocking the way as well so i would have to still play test that um and that, but that's basically the only thing in the entire house I thought that could be a bit problematic. Um, yeah, I do quite like the uh, overlaying of carpets. I, I am actually a real fan of that. I'm not so much of a fan of carpet everywhere, but I do like to have a bit of carpet accents around the house. Um, and now we're going to move on to the dining room, which is really simple. Um, basically, just table and chairs. I didn't put too much effort into that because I thought, you know, I keep it there a bit simple so you could change that to your own liking still. I think I end up um, only having four chairs. They're mi mi uh, mix matched as well. And uh, I think I'm ending up later onwards, I'm ending up uh, putting like an orange tree or something. 
in that corner uh, one big thing now moving on to the living room one big thing if you are downloading this from the gallery um, you would have to enable bb.move object on otherwise a few of the objects might might not be accessible to your sim or they might be moving around uh, or they're not going to be on the place where they're meant to be so um, yeah that's just one big thing make sure that you enable that cheat otherwise it could be a bit not difficult but yeah you would have to rearrange a few things otherwise uh, I really like the idea of having a fireplace um, I never lived anywhere with a fireplace but I do like that idea of having a fireplace in your living room um, it just gives it that much of warmth you know so I, I just did that and uh, tried to figure out some decorative objects that I could move um, I still I, I probably need to uh, download the red shell from the gallery uh, from, from the gallery from um, some of the mods uh, because it is yeah I've seen a lot of youtubers doing that with the red shelf like especially when it comes to decorative items that you have a bit more freedom of where you want to put your stuff and uh, yeah I just figured it would be so much easier because not, some of these things that you want to put on shelves or even on desks or on countertops on in the kitchen they just don't go exactly where you want them to go so um, playing with I don't call them proper cheats because they're not really cheats but um, with some uh, things like that gameplay not just not gameplay in particular but building and decorating is so much easier so um, I might, um, yeah, I might just get that downloaded at some point because, yeah, YouTube, other YouTubers make it look so easy. And then when I'm trying it, it's like, mm, meh, not really working. <laughs> but, yeah, let's just see what I can do in the future. And I am uh, actually putting a little uh, workspace over there right at the entrance. <clears throat> and you will see in a moment I'll put a really weird picture up there. It's not really a picture as much of... I think it's more like a sign um, but I did really really like it and again I went for more like neutral colors a bit of red but loads of like darker woods and all of that like really settled um, and I love this bathtub with the flower like a uh, cactus in it I don't know why I just really loved it and I wanted to include it in the build I think I'm ending uh, I end up putting it next to the door which when I added it there I don't think I really like that position so I will add a bookshelf later on and it is like kind of in the corner then that little bathtub and I like re-watching it I kind of preferred it back there a little bit better so I might change that again but yeah um, yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna um, trying to figure out what kind of chair I want to put in here, and also I'm gonna put an easel in the corner, just a bit of skill items there as well for your sim, um, and you will see that <laughs> weird picture in a moment as well. Um, I think it should come up any moment now, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, but I really, really, really liked it, and um, and obviously. Yeah, that, uh, that's the one, and I like the fish, uh, no, that one, yeah. So it's like, I, I, when I were trying to figure out what kind of pictures to hang in the um, bedroom, I kind of came across that, and I, 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 I don't know, but I really liked it, especially in these brown colours. I think it looks quite cool. <laughs> Definitely not something that you would see in every flat. <laughs> uh, yeah, here I'm trying to figure out that um, I wanted to have a bookshelf, but I do end up putting it against the um, sofa like this. And I end up putting like two shelves into one another. You're going to see what I'm going to do there, right there now. And I see now that it does clip a little bit, but it, it shouldn't affect your gameplay in the slightest. And this is what I mean. I, I rather preferred to have it actually there, um, but now I end up putting it there and that's where it stays basically. So yeah, uh, obviously feel free to change anything that you want. Um, I am also overlaying a few posters there now. Uh, yeah, they do clip a little bit as well, but I did really like that. I like when it looks a bit messy and a bit more put together rather than everything just in line next to one another, if you, if you get what I mean. Um, so it looks a bit more lift in and that, that, that the whole um, apartment gets a bit more character with it. It did, I was really, really struggling finding um, a nice kind of flooring that I wanted to um, keep in this apartment. I think I end up 
putting the entire floor everywhere and then just having some tiles for the kitchen. Um, I'm not quite happy with the tiles now rewatching it, but I mean, it'll do for now. Obviously, again, you can just change whatever you want uh, with it anyway. I mean, they're not too, too bad. Um, just a bit different to break it up, I, I suppose. But yeah, um, I am now, I think, about to include the, uh, a rug and also a um, the, the orange tree I was talking about, I think, um, is coming soon. And more or less, I'm just then going to change, like you can see now, I'm trying to figure out what kind of wall paint to go with. And uh, I think that's the one I am going for, but just with the um, tops uh, on the top and the bottom, the woody one. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for, a, I think, a light um, kind of brick wall for the kitchen. The only thing that I don't like with the, the brick, the brick itself on the backsplash looks quite cool, I think. But I don't, as you can see, it goes all the way up to the top uh, until to the ceiling. And I really am not a fan of that. Um, but there aren't a lot of options that are only like half brick, or at least I didn't see them. Uh, probably there are some there, but... Um, yeah, I did um, I did try and find another rock that I could put in there, but I don't think I actually put one there. I'm, I'm not 100% sure now, but I don't think I end up um, putting a rock down. But uh, yeah, that's basically just it. I am trying to include some uh, close-up screenshots from the apartment uh, now at the end. Um, hopefully it works all out. I haven't done that before, but hopefully it's not too complicated. If there aren't any, I'm, I do apologize. But um, hopefully I can try and figure it out and uh, I can give you a bit more of a close-up to the entire um, apartment again but yeah that's basically it that is all done um just scrolling through it um as i was finishing off and i think i'm just now uploading it to the gallery in a moment but yeah i'm just adding the uh, orange tree and that's basically it um obviously um the newer ones that i'm gonna do uh, now will be better cheerio my lovely see you soon